what's popping my curl mob so i'm michelle jones thank you guys so much for stopping by my video so um as you see here my hair is pressed honey i did not want to wash my press out but my scalp was screaming honey she was screaming so i pressed my hair out for my birthday don't worry i did record it i'm just still working on it so just be patient with me um so yeah so here i'm just letting the water rinse you know follow through my hair so it can revert back to curly i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i was a little nervous i was watching it girl like where you at where them curls at sis i know for me it's always i'm always scared when i straighten my hair only because i have had you know someone damage my hair in the past from heat so you know so you got it just trust issues that's all <laughs> trust issues but it my hair definitely reverted back beautifully so yeah, I'm gonna jump right into this tutorial. So we're starting out with this cocoa butter and biotin shampoo by Palmer's. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little weird using this cocoa butter um, line because we all know Palmer's have lotions and things like that. And it reminds me of when I was little, my mommy's always get the cocoa butter lotion from Palmer's and I felt like I was putting lotion in my hair. So I ain't gonna lie, it was mad weird, but it lathered really, really well. Um, like I said, my scalp was trash, honey. So that's why I'm applying it to my scalp. And since my hair was straight, um, I'm putting it on my ends as well. And I usually never shampoo my, my hair from um, roots to ends. But considering, you know, I was going from straight to curl, I wanted to make sure I had all of that product off my hair and my curls were able to um, be weightless. So I made sure my hair was cleansed. So I'm using this um, Cocoa Butter Bites and Conditioner. Um, now this conditioner definitely gave me um, lotion, lotion vibes, the texture of it, like the thickness. It definitely reminded me of the cocoa butter lotion and, it, and I must say I don't think I was a fan of the lotion. It was rather weird and it didn't have a lot of slip to me. It kind of reminded me more of like a deep conditioner than um, a detangling like, you know, conditioner. It didn't, it didn't have a lot of stuff for me, but um, my hair felt, my hair definitely felt soft. And the reason I use this line is because it has biotin in it. However, once I read the ingredients, I just want to let you guys know, biotin is like at the bottom. So I'm not sure exactly how much biotin is in this collection, but it's promoted by, you know, it's promoting biotin. So I'm, I want to give it a chance because I'm trying to obtain whistle here. So um, here's their um, deep conditioner. It comes in a packet, step one and step two. I must admit, I did, I'm did. i not a fan of these packets. I had a really hard time opening these packets. For one, my hands are really slippery considering I'm in the shower, I'm washing my hair. So I believe them to be really inconvenient. Um, so Palmer's did send me this, so I'm not sure if the packets come by themselves in the stores. Like if you have to buy a packet separately or is it attached to the conditioner or is it attached to the shampoo? Because I just can't see myself buying a packet of conditioner or a packet of um, a hair mask. Um, I'm the type, I have a lot of hair and a packet is not, it's not going to cut it sis. I have too much hair to try to deep condition my hair with a baby size packet. No ma'am, I'm sorry. So yeah, I wasn't a fan of this deep conditioner. Um, and it says to leave it in for five minutes, um, which I did. However, I found that that was not enough time for me and my hair. My hair likes to be deep conditioned for more than five minutes. It needs that 30 minutes plus to actually get in my hair and penetrate and work. But it did make my curls clump. All right, so to style my hair, I'm just um, using this leave-in conditioner, cocoa butter and biotin leave-in. That's the name of the whole line, so I'm gonna stop repeating myself. <laughs> but yeah, I just used the leave-in. As you see, I already did my hair on the right side to see what I was getting myself into because I was a little skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. So the leave-in the leave -in was kind of like, a, it was like a great, um, a great detangler for me. Now this styling nectar, um, it kind of turned into water once I put it in my hair. So it kind it was kind of like melting, I guess I would say. And I actually went through half of that bottle because I kept re reapplying it, reapplying it because I'm like, okay, 
I don't feel it. It's not weighing my curls down. So I kind of got carried away with that nectar. So something I learned about my hair is well, about me, period, is that I don't like things that I can't, that aren't weight. I don't like weightless things on my hair. I need things to weigh my hair down initially. That way I know it's gonna last me a week of wash and go. Cause I'm that kind of, I'm that kind of natural. I need a week worth of wash and go. Anything that lasts me less than that, I'm not a fan of. But I don't know why it was glistening like this. Like, do you guys see that? It's like really, really shiny. Um, but it looks well once it dried, but I was a little skeptical as it was drying. So I did diffuse my hair um, because I, my hair dryer broke and I'm not a fan of letting my hair air dry. One, I'm too lazy and I like my neck to be wet. I love the way that my hair turned out, but I will let you guys know this wash and go only lasted me personally three days. After three days, it was, it was a wrap, but it turned out nice. It was shiny and it was soft. So if you're going for a really light hold, then this would be the collection for you. So I hope you guys like this video. Stay blessed, stay safe, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe.